something wonderful happened this weekend, and it was a roller coaster. I got to tell you, for a few minutes there, it was that there was suspense, there was fear, there was exaltation, there were laughs to be had. At one point over the weekend on the Twitters, a name started trending. <laughs> Now, whenever someone's name starts trending on Twitter, that's a that that's that's a problem because one of they're like, are they dead? Did they do something terrible? Right. Are they dead? Did they die? Or are they evil? It's one of the yeah, you gotta like you gotta like run the checklist. This time, it was Chris Evans. You know him. You love him. He is he is of course. My sweet Babu. He, he is, of course, a very famous uh, actor who played an important superhero, the Human Torch, which, you know, we, we was very, very linchpin, very critical character. Um, <laughs> well, he's trending on Twitter. And I was like, oh, no. And my heart sank when I saw the name. Yeah, I was a little worried. I was like, please tell me he didn't like rape somebody or I, my heart couldn't take it. So I clicked on the name. <laughs> and the world changed. <laughs> because what happened was, apparently he was sharing a video on Instagram. Yeah. And he stopped the video, and the video went back to a thumbnail. Because so there's like a layout of all the different uh, pictures and whatnot, and they go down to a thumbnail. One of the other thumbnails for a brief second that was clearly visible on his phone, his photos, was a penis. His, his little winter soldier. <laughs> not just any penis. And not that not little, not honestly. Little. It was it America's was, penis. It was America's dick. <laughs> and he, like... He was already number one on my freebie list. He has not lost his spot. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I noticed he was trending and I was like, oh, oh God, I hope it's not something terrible. <sighs> Maybe it's just cute pictures of his dog. And I clicked and I was like, oh, dear. Now, there are different kinds of dick pics. Some yeah. of them are, are very no, no, especially unsolicited. Accidental is different. This was honestly, apparently, this was for a significant other, obviously. It was not intended for Instagram. Right. So he went and he leaked his own nudes on accident. Now, if you are watching this and you're like, wait, Chris Evans' dick is on the internet? Don't go searching it. You Don't creep. be that guy. Don't do it. It's it it was it was not consensual nudity. So we don't go looking for non-consensual nudity. Do you understand? You can take my word for it. That it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> don't go. But he has taken it in good humor. He has. Bless him. Well, Mark, Mark Ruffalo jumped in and was like, listen, <laughs> but who the president is, there's nothing you can do to embarrass yourself. <laughs> You're fine. On Twitter. And then somebody replied and was like, Mark, he has a phone. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> he, and, and and today he, he tweeted, um, what, what did he tweet? Oh, I have it. I screen capped today. He screen capped. Okay. Because I love him so much. Oh, do you see Grady he here on his little judgment throne back there? We got that for now, now that I have your attention. <laughs> With this emoji and then this emoji. Vote November 3rd. There were many dark turns that that whole thing could have taken. And yeah. we all felt just for a moment a little bit better about the world. And he just took a, took a couple days off and then was like, I'm an idiot. There's my dick. And that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is the magic of Chris Evans' penis. His brother also tweeted like yesterday. He was like, "Hey, I've been I, I've been taking a break from social media. Did I miss anything?" <laughs> Family can be dicks. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, yeah, I was very sorry. concerned when I saw his name trending. I was hoping it was and, and like here's the thing though, like every like the internet came together to defend his honor. Everybody yeah. now is like. 
spam, spam pictures of him and his dog, spam pictures of him being an idiot. Like, let's just, let's just flood this out, which is wonderful. I love the energy. Let's have it for women. Yeah, true. Because when this shit happened to Jennifer Lawrence and it wasn't her doing a dumb thing by mistake, it was somebody fucking her over. Y'all said it was her fault. Nope. It is so not. let's keep the same energy for the women because right. I like it. All right, now let's get into this. Cap was wielded in a sword and shield all along, and we just didn't know. <laughs> Maybe he had Thor's hammer for a little while longer. He was worthy. All right, with that out of the way. Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention, um, before we get into the uh, the actual bit itself, um, big shout out to Telemundo, um, who this last time, last week, you may remember the goat story, which yeah. featured body cam footage from a police officer in Georgia. Publicly released body cam footage that was released to news organizations to disseminate. It was a public release. Telemundo decided they made that. They put a copyright claim on the police body cam footage. Okay. What happened was Telemundo did a news broadcast. They included the footage. They uploaded it before me, and they and they instead of actually doing copyright the right way and sectioning out that little bit and saying we don't own this, they since it was all in one video and part of YouTube, they own it, which they don't. So I've responded and said, no, you don't. No, that's not how you, you no. So, well, hola, Telemundo, NBC, My Universal, Comcast, terrible. Telemundo. Anyway, so. <laughs> Uh, hi, you don't understand copyright. Um, leave my shit alone. All right, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And uh, where where to begin this week? Okay, we're, it, it, we're, we're jumping off to a bad start, Tara. I'm sorry. Um, but we got we got we got to power through because Jesus Christ. Um, it's never good to have your home broken into. You're always there's always a weird sense of something's just wrong forever. Even yeah yeah. This one compounded it, and I can't believe where this story comes from. This came from Canada. I I, I don't. How could a Canadian do this? Suspect in Gulf home break in didn't take anything, but poops in the dishwasher. Am I saying that right, Gulf? It looks like Gulf. Am I uh, Guelph? Can I, Guelph? I don't know. Maybe Guelph. I, I, I mean, my YouTube Canadian. YouTube will tell us. Yeah. Thanks a lot, by the way. YouTube's very upset that I've never watched Avatar. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, police are searching for a person who entered a home and pooped in the dishwasher. Sometime between 1 a.m. and 8.15 a.m. on Sunday, someone entered a home near uh, Starwood Drive and Eastwood Road through an unlocked back sliding glass door. People who lived in the home were asleep. Nothing was taken. However, the culprit defecated in an open dishwasher door before leaving the residence. Why? Stop in. What Guelph? Okay, stop in, pooping in the dishwasher, and be on your way. Huh? What? Like that? What the? Like they probably have a bathroom. That's what I'm thinking. Canadians have indoor bathrooms, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> it's not the fucking dark ages uh, up there. We're gonna get comments. Yes, and 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 you've broken into a house. There's quite probably a toilet somewhere nearby. Not yeah. gonna be that hard to find. No, no, your dumbass, quite literally, pooped in the dishwasher. Like why? I'm thinking maybe drunk. Or was this like? Do you? Did you do you have a problem with these people? That's that may be too. That may be also too. Do you like it's this personal? 
Do you have any enemies? Do you know anyone who would want to poop in your dishwasher? <laughs> no. Well, well, Morty, you did clog up the, the neighbor's toilet last Christmas. Did I just they is... had a, they had to call a plumber, Morty. Just to, to wake up to that. Oh my God! You come downstairs. You're gonna get a big bowl of Frosted Flakes, orange juice, and there's poop in the dishwasher. Luckily, he wakes God, up first. <laughs> Luckily, he wakes up first, so that would be his problem. Ah, uh, it's just good God. How do you clean that out? I mean, he, it was on the door, so that wouldn't be too hard. It would just be fucking terrible. I would, I would get a new dishwasher. I, I am terrible, but I could not. I could not after that. That's, that's not happening. And I mean, dishwashers have a sanitized cycle, so yes, but you could just, I don't think they you could just run it empty. I don't. Once you have removed the solid waste, I don't think that the, the sanitize was was designed for poop. I don't think anyone who went through the process of creating that dishwasher sat down and thought, "Okay, fellas, what if someone poops in it?" I don't think well, that was part of the design process. <laughs> sanitizing is just to kill bacteria. So, I've had poops I've had to beat to death with a shovel. <laughs> you don't know. Hey. <laughs> you talked to a doctor about that? No, Tara, this was drinking days. This was college. Two amazing things to your stomach in college. All right, next up. Oh, hey, speaking of back in the day, uh, you used to work at Spencer Gifts a long time ago. Yes, I did. I so, still get flashbacks sometimes. Yeah, well, brace yourself, because this might be one of them. Florida, of course. Naked lady swipes intimate item in Naughty Adventure. Fort Pierce. An alleged naked woman accused of swiping a sex toy and using it in a store got locked up. The alleged naked lady. I could God, Will Greenlee, we love you. I'm gonna when this show ends, I'm gonna send him like a bottle of Dom Perignon on or something. Yeah. Uh the alleged naked lady, not to be confused with the bare naked ladies, a Canadian band, perhaps best known for the nineteen ninety-eight song One Week. He's maybe padding the word count a little, little bit there, Will. Worker said the woman went in an employee area or stock room with the toy. In the stock room, police encountered a 36-year-old Port Salerno woman in an office chair with the sex toy. After the officers went in the room, the woman dropped the personal accessory. Police learned the woman tried on a piece of clothing, but the make, model, type, brand, cut, or color wasn't specified. It's unclear whether this was the purple shirt. The alleged stolen object was valued at $45.98. The woman declined to speak with investigators. So you wander in, just just shirt tailing it, you know. Not not a thing on. You're in an adult store. You reach over, you grab a fifty dollar item, and you decide to take it for a test drive right there and then. Let me tell you why this horrifies me. <laughs> mm hmm. Besides the obvious reasons, I'm sure Spencer Gifts has Spencer Gifts has upped the quality of their adult toys since I worked there. <laughs> like they sell better ones now. I was literally selling glow in the dark vibrating cucumbers. I, I don't know why you would want that. And Capitalism little, and little glasses and noses for your dick. I don't know why. I also, when I worked at Spencer Gifts, my manager was a man I referred to as the king of white trash. Hmm. He hacked the Muzak system in our store so that it would play regular CDs, but we could only play his CDs. So for 10 hours a day, we would listen to either Frank Zappa or Yes, because those were the only bands he liked. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, Are you enjoying Grady's Judgment Throne? Yes. Your, ju your, your punishment, if you displeased him, was you had to go straight in the sex aisle. Hmm. I got this punishment one day for complaining about the yes music. And I noticed that a lot of the boxes were, were tied up with packaging tape. 
And I was like, what's with that? And he's like, oh, well, those are the ones that were returned. We had to reseal them. I was like, Vinny, Vinny, please tell me you didn't put used vibrators back out on the sales floor. He's like, well, we don't know if they're used, but they were open. So we had to reseal them. And I'm like, Vinny. And he just looks and he's like, what? Your mouth's dirtier. And I'm like, this was like my second week at this job. And I don't know why I didn't quit right there. <laughs> I was like speechless with horror. And I was like, no, no, we can't, no. I mean, well, you know, if you feel that strongly about it, I guess you could damage them out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because holy crap. That's a biohazard. So um, if, if you're ever in a Spencer Gifts in the market for a sex toy and any of the packages are taped up, don't buy it. And really just don't buy them in that Spencer's because God knows what's going on in there. I it's The yeah. more you know. I've we we've all gone to adult stores at one point or another. It's it's a very judgment free zone. They were very yeah. talking, open, you know, very free about human sexuality. Not that free. It's not you can't just go in and you be like, I'm just gonna take this one for a whirl, see how it fits. But that's the problem with having these things in malls. Like I'm not at all puritanical, but I was never comfortable with that shit being in a mall because like the people that owned the Japanese restaurant in the food court had a special needs kid that couldn't be left at home alone. So they just let him wander the mall all day by himself. And he often came into our store and played with shit and would open like the gummy penises and throw them all over the store. And then we'd have just groups of teenagers come in. Like, it's not really a good thing to have just in a mall. <sighs> And the people there working there do not make nearly enough money to deal with that shit. No. Well, speaking of dealing with that shit, we've got not one, but but two uh, stories about the police this week. Um, the first one is uh, th this. I, I I still need to get that sound thing set up for for a douche quake because oh my god. I'll just, I will let it speak for itself because, oh my God, the fuck Grady, get, get down from Grady, get down from there. You can't get on the computer. The computer is not for Grady. That's why yes, I, I can you. watch me. That's why I got you the thing. That's why I got you the thing here. I like that. He can join us now. You goober. We do have a Simba, but he's giving everyone the butt. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, this 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 dick bag. California cop allegedly burglarized home after responding to death of elderly man. Cali oh, yeah. A California sheriff's deputy has been arrested and placed on administrative leave for allegedly burglarizing the home after responding to the death of an elderly man. Steve Hortz was a 12-year veteran of the Orange County Sheriff's Department. 12 years. Late July, Hortz responded to a call in uh, Yorba Linda regarding an elderly man who died from apparent natural causes. On Wednesday, an attorney representing the family estate called the police department to report some items missing from the home and shared home surveillance video that depicted Hortz entering the property at least three times and exiting with stolen property. Uh, Everybody has cameras now. First instance, he entered in a uniform. He returned on August 10th and August 16th in civilian clothes and stole weapon safes, ceiling fans, and other boxes with unknown contents. Following investigation, Horch was arrested Thursday, placed on leave, and has been booked into jail. Um. So this guy has been a cop for 12 years. This was just the first time his ass got caught. Right. Well, actually, that we know of. Because everybody has cameras now. Yeah. Everybody hasn't had cameras for 12 years. This, your ass got, you got, you got vengeance from beyond the grave here, motherfucker. That, why ceiling fans? I don't know. Just because somebody's dead doesn't make their home target. No. You, there's there's a family, there's an estate, there's a whole bit, you know? Doesn't mean you can just go shop there. No. Weapon safe. Fuck. I, I just, it, 
But, but yeah, this is definitely just the first time he's gotten caught. It's not the first mm-hmm. time he's done it. Well, I don't even know if it's the first time he's gotten caught. It's just the first time it became a criminal charge because they had video yeah. evidence. What kind of asshole? A big one. A, a giant, a gaping, all-encompassing, huge chasm from which light cannot escape. You just, you suck as a human. No shit. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Exactly. He is such a loud cat. Hi, Grady. Oh, he is too. Just you know, not for the benefit of the internet. Lemon Song. Lemon Song says he's the ur anus. It's that's that's actually really clever. That's really. Mostly, Simba just likes to follow Dan around and scream at him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is happening. Uh oh. Uh oh. Listen, I will kill you. I'll kill you. Arr, belly. Arr, the belly. The belly. All right. Next up, more cops. Um, He's looking at you like, hey. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. He's got he's got a feather on that that that, that perch I got him has a feather on it, which has become fascination for him. Um, so this is more cops. This is less malfeasance and just Jesus Christ, where do they find you people? Train hits stolen Papa John's delivery car ditched by thieves following police chase in Miami Dade. All right, now let's get through this one. There was a Papa yeah, John's. That's a lot. Yeah, Papa John's delivery driver dropped off pizza and someone jumped in the car and stole it. So, cops. Uh, chase it down. Um, the two men took off after abandoning the car on the railroad tracks where it was hit by a train as officers set up a perimeter. So here you are. Got the car. You fe- They've gone. You have the car in front of you. You leave it on the railroad tracks. Yeah, why didn't you push it off the tracks first? While you go and establish... Like, the only thing I can think of is that the car broke down and that's why they abandoned it? You could push it. But, yeah. You you can push that fucker off. Unless the train is coming imminently, you should move the car first. Where do they find you? Come on. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean. And it's it's not like in, you know, Back to the Future where the train hits the car and it just dissolves into parts. No, yeah, no. The it's going to push it for a few miles until the train is able to stop. And you've damaged, you've obviously, the car is over. Um, yeah. The train has taken damage. The tracks have taken damage. It's damage. It's not just like a little bling. It's like a Lego exploding. No, no, no. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. The f- that they fight. I, I, I just honestly have to hope that someone in their chain of command went, what the? F-? Yeah. And the poor pizza guy. Well, the good like, news bad is enough. we we bad enough. He works for Papa John. But he got stranded at a delivery, and his car got obliterated. Yeah, we uh, good. Okay, we got good news and bad news. What's the good news? We found your car. What's the bad news? Part we, of it. Parts of we 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 know where it. We know where your car is. Yeah, it's some assembly required. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? He's all about that feather. It is. It is. It's... <laughs> Hello. What are He's you doing? He's so floofy. He's what? He's Loof? so floofy. Yes, he is. We used to have a tower with toys hanging from it, but um, big fella back here likes to eat string. 
Ah. He doesn't so much care about the toy at the end of the string. He just wants to eat the string and then run around the house pooping the string out. <laughs> so Which is as bad as someone pooping in your dishwasher. So we can't have hangy toys anymore that we can't hide away from him. Oh, there he is. Ah. It's a good boy. Well, we have um, another burglary. Um, this time they, they, they know who did it. They know exactly who did it. And that's because who did it was... <laughs> Dan or Simba. <laughs> you know, we finally got Dan to stop running around the house pooping string. And Simba started. It's like, it's ridiculous. They found out who did it because Woo. he was still there high as balls. Police in Columbus say a, pergl a burglary suspect was found unconscious on the living room floor of a home he wasn't supposed to be in. I don't know if I'm more confused by the haircut or the face test. He's got them all over, man. I mean, he's that, made some he's made some choices. Those are decisions. Yes. Um, victim told police he woke up and heard someone breathing heavily and found the suspect on the floor. Officers arrested 31-year-old arrested John M. Alexander. According to police, Alexander had a backpack containing a pair of handcuffs, multiple zip ties. He was armed with a 22 caliber handgun. Police said he appeared too high on narcotics to know who or where he was. Listen. Um, you, you got you, not on the job, man. Never, Don't never. you hate it when you're ripped out of your mind <clears throat> and halfway through shaving your head, <laughs> you decide you need to go on an armed burglary? He's, he made and like. And then you forget that you're on an armed burglary and pass out. It's like a reverse bowl cut. Yeah, look at his hair. <laughs> look at this. Look. He shaved just the front. Yeah, just like this little circle. It's like a reverse bowl cut. It's weird. So it looks like he always has a headband on. And he's got like you know like, uh, and he's got arkanoid on his face. Maybe yeah. he was just like, "Fuck my bangs! These things fucking annoy me." Bangs can be annoying. Um, maybe if you're going to go do the crimes, you, you wait to celebrate to later. You should try your best to be lucid while committing your violent crime. I don't think he, I, I well I don't know but it, I don't think he was going to be violent I think he was just going to like hold the people hostage while he stole their shit yeah like he had a gun and zip ties except he was too fucked up to hold the piece people hostage while he stole their shit he kind of forgot and went to sleep yeah that's this try not to do you are not Goldilocks nope and that is not really that charming no. I mean, I have passed out on the floors of people who like me. And even then, I, I'm i probably not. I make noises with my nose <laughs> when I'm unconscious that probably are only known otherwise to rhinoceroses. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, got one last one this week, and this is, uh, you know, that old, um, meme that was, it's online is don't trust anyone, even yourself. And you got a gun guy's got a gun pointed to his back of his own head. You know that yeah. one? Um, here's the home game. High on meth man takes part in gun battle with imaginary people. <laughs> Like Range, Indiana, a man high on meth apparently shot up the inside of his house after imagining people were trying to break in and steal some of his belongings. Police arrived, uh, began their investigation Sunday after receiving a report that a man was yelling and swinging a broom handle on private property. When deputies arrived on the scene, they found a man identified as Mark King of Wolcottville, which th this is the most unassuming mugshot I've ever seen. It's it's I know. He, he's, he looks so, so he's like deer in headlights. He um, looks like he just wants to sell you a muffler. <laughs> he does. <laughs> 
When police arrived on the scene, they found him. Uh, they determined King had consumed methamphetamine on Friday and Saturday um, after engaging in a gun battle with the imaginary people inside his home. King went to a neighbor's house. He went inside a garage and broke a window after throwing a gun at it. <laughs> he then left the garage. That's when police found him. He's taken to a hospital to treat it later for, and released released to police um does this feel like the other side of the coin from the last story <laughs> like maybe some tenant shit happened and sleepy guy was in the process of robbing this guy's house <laughs> but then flippity floppity timey wimey he gets sucked into a different house and passes out, and this guy's having a gun battle with nobody <laughs> because wormholes. <laughs> or maybe you just just lay off the drugs, man. Yeah, maybe just do a little less drugs. Fucking just say no. Meth is meth is not a good drug. It has never been a good drug, and never will be a good drug. It is a bad drug. Don't do math. It's bad for you. It's bad for us. It's bad for the wall you shot up. It's bad for the world. I just, it, it, it messes my head that tonight, as we're speaking, there's someone in America with a bottle of meth in one hand and a gun in the other. And I don't know where that guy is. And that scares the <laughs> shit out of me. I've been doing this for 10 years and I still have not managed to hear a single upside of meth. Not one. Not one. Not one. But no, no, no one has ever said, well, here are the benefits. Right. Nobody's ever given me the pro side of the list. I've got a long ass list of cons. Long, very elaborate. But I've not heard one. Not one. Pro. I watched all five seasons of Breaking Bad. I never saw a pro. I mean, maybe it makes it easier to get the dentures later. I guess. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm not, I, I'm still not clear on what is the allure. The America, America is a weird place because at all times you have to, to, to play, guess your proximity to the meth head. That's just a thing we have to do here. You have to, you, the, the, there is one. There, there is definitely one nearby. It's kind of like Pokemon Go. speaking, if you walk into a public place, somebody in there has done meth. It's like Pokemon Go, except you don't want to find them. Yeah. <sighs> yes. God. It, he looks so, it's like, I, I if, if you ever needed a picture for scared straight. <laughs> and poor, I, I feel sorry I for him. I just want to know, like, did he run out of ammo? <laughs> what was with the throwing of the gun? That's what. As you I understand it, I've never used a gun, but as I understand it, that is not how they're used. No. Well, that's the tradition. <laughs> Once you fired all the bullets at Superman, you have to throw the gun. <laughs> That's it's it's are it's, they like single use? Like once all the bullets are fired, is it like the cult from Supernatural where once you run out of those 13 bullets, you can't use it anymore until the plot contrivance fairy shows up in season three to fix it? <laughs> She's very into the supernatural lore, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I guess, I guess the first thing we've learned yet again, we've maintained this meth, not even once. Folks, there are legal regulate it's getting easier and easier in america when it comes come to, to colorado and just have all the fucking pot you want it's 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 right. legal it's people they know what goes into it people have an idea i have 20 dispensaries within a mile of my home you will have no surprises you you'll be able to just it's it's why i can't understand when pot exists and is on the verge of being federally legal just this fucking close how could you go, okay, but meth, though? Yeah. It's not like pot is all that expensive, either. I would rather either. do this thing that could blow up my house, make all my teeth fall out, and make me rip my own face off while I hallucinate. Have an but, edible. But I just really hate my own teeth. 
I mean, I'm not a huge fan of my own teeth. They're crooked and messed up, but you know what? They're mine. <laughs> we, we've learned it. We've learned that if you're going on the job, maybe you should do it sober, especially if it's crime. If your job is crime, that's especially you need to be sober for that one. Um, we've learned that sometimes they do. The police do retrieve your stolen property in the fashion. There's no guarantee it's going to be whole. And sometimes they are responsible for the stolen property. So uh, maybe having a home recording. Um, we've learned that you, test drives are not a thing in adult stores. Not in the store. That's not how that works. They'll be happy to talk to you. They will describe things. They will help you know them. But they are not going to let you can i just take it in your break room and take it for a spin no 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 and put on some fucking pants yeah pants pants right yeah i know we've all been in quarantine for a long time and pants have become like optional but if you're going shopping you need pants or or a dress you need you need your your nooks and crannies to be covered in some fashion See, now that I'm trying to get him to do it, he's not going to do it. Yeah, no. Do it come back up? I want to, but I can't while you want me to, because I'm a cat. And finally, we've learned this week, someone, someday, may, may and you may find yourself with pooping your dishwasher. That's some timing right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we, we do live near the local metro. Who poops in a dishwasher? Honestly. Have you no decency, sir? Oh. <laughs> the segment... If that if that tower stays there, the segment's going to go an hour from now on. Yep. Because like in between stories, Grady's going to have to get belly robes. No, belly, 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 belly. Oh, rah, rah, rah. I have like we have a tower rah, rah. in here. We have Peggy's little loft. The girls are not about it. Dottie doesn't even like this room. Dottie does not even like this room. So, you get big orange boy. The girls are not about being exploited. Arr.